guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a review on some palettes that I received from Zoeva. Well, I ordered them. Um, this is a little box of three palettes. So it's called the, and I hope I'm not going to botch this, Play, Play, Play Sir, Play Sir palette. Now, this retails um, on the Zoeva website uh, for $94. You can buy each of these palettes that are in here separately for $35 each. So you can see that you actually are getting a bit of a bargain if you order the set of the three rather than um, buying them individually. So the packaging is absolutely beautiful. It comes in this lovely box. So it's like packaging dreams. So the top part obviously comes off and then you're left with this gorgeous, if I have it up the right way, this gorgeous box that you take the lid off and then your palettes are stored in there. So it's really nice for storage, um, and then you obviously pull out each palette. They're stuck in there nice and tight, and then you've got the palettes in there. So the three palettes that it comes with is the Cocoa Blend palette, which has been out for quite a while now. It's very, very popular, and two of the new palettes. So we've got the Blanc Fusion, and then the Caramel Melange palette. So I'm going to insert some swatches through this video as well of each of the eyeshadows within those palettes. But I just wanted to give a bit of an overview of what I thought of the Zoeva eyeshadows. Um, so let's just open up one of the palettes to start off with, hey? Go in with the most popular one, which is the Cocoa Blend palette. So these come with a nice little sheet over the top. So the packaging is really nice and slim, so it's really great for traveling, that kind of thing. Um, it's really nice and sturdy. It's got that nice magnetic clasp to hold it open, um, hold it shut, sorry. There is no mirror in the palette, so that is a bit of a bummer. But in saying that, it's not the be all and end all, especially with how beautiful these shades are. So in this particular palette, you are getting one, two, three, four matte shades and the rest are shimmery. I wouldn't say they're satiny or oh, yeah that one is a little bit more satiny the rest are very very shimmery there is a little bit of kick up as you can see around a couple of those shadows but honestly it's no big deal you just tap off your brush before you apply it onto the eye um, I do that with every single eyeshadow that I use so it's a no-brainer for me to do so if you're not used to doing that maybe get into the habit tap tap into the eyeshadow tap off your brush and then go in um, yeah so I'll insert some swatches now of the um, eyeshadows, but they are absolutely beautiful. So, so I'll start off with the top row of the shadows, and the first one is a matte cream, and it's called Bitter Start. The second one is called Sweeter End, which is sort of a satiny, cool toned brown. The next one is absolutely beautiful, it's called Warm Notes and it is a shimmery mid-toned sort of burgundy color. This one is called Subtle Blend and it is a satin brown. It's quite warm toned. It also has a little bit of gold glitter through it, but it's not coming off when you swatch it. And um, the next we have a really, really dark brown. It is almost black, but it's just not quite there. And it's called Beans Are White. So onto the second row. We have a beautiful gold, it is quite shimmery, it's called Pure Ganache. The next one along is a cool toned um, brown, it's beautiful for through the crease and it's called Substitute for Love. The next we have a beautiful warm toned brown, this is absolutely beautiful all over the lid and blended up through the crease, it's called Freshly Toasted. The shade we have is called Infusion which is a matte black but it has got gold shimmer running through it so the shimmer doesn't come up as intense but it's absolutely beautiful and then the last shadow in that row we've got um, delicate acidity which is a cool toned almost purpley gray so that's the Zoeva Cocoa Blend palette so the next palette we'll go on to is the Caramel Melange palette once again same sort of setup no mirror but will you get a load of these beautiful warm tones? This palette speaks to me so much. 
Um, I love all the shades in this particular palette. I do find though that I do have to work it in, and I do find this with all three, is it's nice for them to work in together. If I'm going on a job and I want nice sort of warm tones, I pack all three palettes because I think it covers every end of the spectrum. So this particular palette has got more matte shades than shimmery shades. So it has actually got six matte shades here and then three really intense shimmery shades at the bottom. So we'll go through some swatches now. So top row, we've got wax paper, which is a matte cream. And then we've got a beautiful transition shade for sort of um, lighter skin tones and it's called Universal Delight. And we have this amazing orange that is matte, it's called Aftertaste. Then we've got a beautiful soft coppery gold which is called 182 degrees Celsius. The next shade is just out of this world. It's called Liquid Center, and as you can imagine, it is like the most amazing bronzy, coppery gold ever. Got Alchemy, which is a warm toned matte brown. And then the next shade next to it, which is very, very similar, it's called Start Soft, but it is more on the cooler side. It's not quite as warm as Alchemy. Then we've got another matte brown. Now this is also more on the cooler side. It's called Finish Sensual. A beautiful shimmery gold, which is called Almost Burnt. And then the last shade in the palette and on that row is called Edible Gem. Now this is a dark purple with gold reflex through it. So that's the Caramel Melange palette. It is absolutely beautiful. And then finally on to the Blanc Fusion palette, so take off the outside layer. Palette is a little bit more on the muted side, but as I said, I think all these palettes work in really well together. So in this particular palette, we've got one, two, three, four. Okay, we've got the exact same. So we've got a matte, um, a full matte row here and a full shimmery row. There are no satins, these are all definite shimmers. So we're sort of more on the golden tones in this particular palette. Very, very neutral palette. But I think that, you know, once you work in those other sort of colors from those other palettes, you've just got the most amazing selection of colors. So we'll go through some swatches now. I'll put the top row of all shimmery shades. We've got the shade Noble, which is an extreme shimmery white. And then we've got a gold, it's a softer gold and it's called Single Origin. And then we've got a really, really bright gold which is called Visions of Gold. We've got another one of those intense um, sort of coppery bronzes. This one's called Late Bloomer. And the last of those shimmery shades, we've got Sweetness Lingers which is a bit of more of a cool toned um, taupe and it's quite shimmery. Onto the row of matte shades, we've got Travel Inspired, which is a beautiful um, all over the lid sort of shade. It's a matte cream transition shade. We've got Joy in a Box, which is a matte brown, very um, light brown, and then we've got Mid Tone Brown, which is called Conched, and then we've got a slightly cooler toned brown that's just a touch lighter, I think, than Conched. This is called Question of Taste. And then we've got a super dark brown in the last shade in the palette and it is called Last Bite. So that's the Blanc Fusion palette. So I hope you enjoyed the sort of review and swatches of these three palettes. I really think that they are an amazing deal for what you get. And um, I ordered these directly from the Zoeva website rather than ordering them from Sephora. I do find that Sephora is out of stock of a lot of stuff all the time online. So yeah, um, I got them shipped here from the UK and I think the shipping was free. Don't quote me on that because I did order these when they, quite a while ago, it was like last year. So I think I've had a really good chance of testing these out, not only on myself, but on clients as well. I love the pigmentation of these um, particular shadows. Um, I do think that they are definitely worth the investment. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.